Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am doing part two of the Sacred Geometry Oracle card pool that I'm doing for all 12 signs. I've already done Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. That was on part one. So this is part two. You can watch these videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So please be sure to do that. And again, if any of the signs are in part one, go watch that video as well. Please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, Channel, share with someone that you care about and let's get into this reading so first up we have Libra Cardinal Air Libra what is your one message from the Sacred Geometry Oracle deck Sacred Geometry is an ancient practice and it's basically um, shapes shapes and symbols okay but it's like those shapes and symbols that naturally occur the most uh popular sacred geometry is the the flower of life so you know how like if uh the rings on a tree how they're perfect right but it's just a natural creation it's not like it wasn't a man-made thing the surface of a tree um the spiral of a snail the veins you see in a flower petal the um the lines and striations on wood, like just natural materials, just natural elements of life having these perfect balanced shapes, okay? So do your own research on sacred geometry if you're interested, but just know these cards are cool and colorful, and yeah, I just want to pull them. So also, if you were wondering about this deck and what it looks like and all this stuff, this is an opportunity to, you know, see what the cards look like and what they can do for you in case you're interested, okay? If you want the link to these cards, let me know down in the comments, and maybe I'll start including the link to the cards in the comment box. Libra, 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 one card for Libra, Libra is the sister sign to Aries, and you have empowerment, all right, so Libra, you are receiving that Aries fire to be encouraged, okay? Empowerment is the number 26, which reduces to a number 8. So what goes around comes around, okay? We are in a karmic year, a karmic 8 year, I believe. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 4, 8. Yes, yeah, so we're in the year 8. And um, this is a number of stability, getting grounded, really building a solid, secure foundation that makes you feel good. So Libra, I feel like this is a time for you to be empowered to um to to speak your truth to do the things that you know that you appreciate that you love that resonates from your spirit this is a time for you to be empowered so you can empower other people because you know libra love the relationships right empowerment the frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely right your truth uniting us with others relationships in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source right so just having compassion and empathy for other people right and the compassion and empathy is going to come from the conversations right we know libra is an air sign cardinal air so the ability to hold a conversation to have light banter to socialize um this could also be an empowerment meeting that you're going to, an empowerment summit, some type of convention of men, of convention of women, convention of people, professionals, whatever. But just getting together with people for the sake of encouraging and empowering one another. Libra, it may be you being the leader of said event, or this may be a message for you to consider being the leader. You know, perhaps you are the better option. Perhaps you are the favorite, okay? How could you feel more empowered? Sometimes we think we need to build up the courage in order to do the thing but maybe doing the thing first while you're scared is what's going to give you the courage to keep going you know because if you're waiting for the guts to come you're going to be you're going to be waiting okay if you're going to wait for the day you're going to be courageous and bold and i think i'm gonna do it today like it may come but every day it's gonna be like oh Maybe I'll feel more next time. So no more putting it off, Libra. No more being indecisive and in and out playing double dutch with yourself. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Libra, be empowered. Sometimes you have to take the action before, you know? Sometimes you can't just wait for the guts, wait for the courage. The time may pass you by. So the time to be empowered is now. And as you show your courage, your bravery, with other people as you demonstrate that with your actions instead of just talking about it but actually being about it as you showcase that courage that sense of empowerment to other people 
Now other people believe you. They see it as your truth because you did it. You weren't just talking about it. You actually followed through and you did it. So Libra, this is a time for you to be empowered through taking action, not just talking about it. Not just thinking about it, but Aries Fire actually doing it, okay? So Libra, do it. Just do it. Just literally just do it. Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Yes, let me keep it so I can see my bright brown eyes. Scorpio, are you looking in the mirror? Let's see, that's why I have that so I can reach for you. Happy medium, right? Scorpio, are you like all about your face today? Like beauty, like Scorpio. I wouldn't be surprised if the divine feminine card popped out. Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 where you at? Alchemy. Of course, a power card with Scorpio. Of course. Bottom of the deck, synergy. So, alchemy. Scorpio, your card is alchemy. It's the number eight. And what number sign is Scorpio in the wheel? The eighth sign. Scorpio rules the eighth house. It's all about that. At what goes around comes around. As I put out, show, sell, and receive. As above, so below. As within, so without. All of that, right? Scorpio, alchemy. If you have not yet, I want you to read the book, The Alchemist, Okay. It's a great book it took me a few times to get into it but once I finally got in the book so glad I read it it's definitely a reread for sure but Scorpio this is you being reminded of your power being reminded that you are an alchemist okay if you want things to change then change it you have the power the free will to do so okay we see a lot of orange here which is speaking to the solar plexus chakra as well as uh some purple and some red as well so really focusing you know what I just fucking said the root chakra as below so above crown chakra with the purple okay so really just knowing that you have everything you need to create you are the alchemist already the message is the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic remember who you are Scorpio remember your power remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation okay so Scorpio if you want things to change then change it you have the power you have the opportunity you have the time now you have all that you need to be successful um but also Scorpio because y'all are so powerful make sure that you are doing good with your power okay this is not get back energy putting hexes on people casting spell no 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 Work of the light, not of the dark, okay, Scorpio? Make sure you use your powers for good, not for evil. Okay, Scorpio? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Is this Gaia card again? Since I put it back for Virgo, I'll put it back for Sagittarius. It's just, give us something better. Give us something better. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. The fire sage. Mutable fire. Sagittarius. Too many. Too many. Sagittarius. Sag one card. Change. Mutable, of course. Sagittarius. Your card is change, the number 12 card, which reduces to a number three, the number of creativity, right? The number of creation, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Mother, Father, Son, all of that, Holy Trinity. So with change, um, of course, we see all these circles within a circle, within a circle, then a square, then a circle, then a circle. So it's changing shapes, right? It's not one consistent shape all the way through. And... Sagittarius, you, you're not new to change. You're a mutable fire sign. You get it. You want to pivot. You want to change. You want to adapt, all right? So um, this time is no different. There's something that you need to change, or there may be a change coming up. We are in Mercury retrograde. We are in eclipse season, okay? And um, we do have the full moon and Scorpio coming up in a matter of weeks. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and birth the new. Okay, so 
Sagittarius, I feel like this is you but getting real with yourself right now if you even want things to change because there may be a need to change, but maybe you hadn't even realized that there is a need to change. Maybe someone in your immediate world is starting to change how they feel, how they feel about you, or maybe you're starting to change, change how you feel about someone else or about a situation. But nonetheless, and you could recognize these changes with boredom, with excitement, with, you know what I'm saying? Like, check your mood. Be mindful. Is your mood changing? Is your mood fluctuating, okay? Is your weight fluctuating? What's what's changing right now? This could be a natural change that's happening because some some change needs to be initiated. For example, noticing that you're losing weight drastically real fast. Okay, I need to go to the doctor to understand what's going on. Oh, you're you're ill. Now you need to make have this diet regimen. You need to take these medications, antibiotics, whatever, right? So it's like noticing a change because an actual change is on its way. So kind of get ahead of it, Sagittarius. Get ahead of it. Capricorn. Capricorn. There's two cards here. The divine feminine has showed up. Okay, so it came for Capricorn, not for Scorpio. Okay, so I did feel that Divine Feminine energy. We'll keep them both since they're both in my hand. And it's kind of in the same energy. Divine Feminine number 21, which reduces to a 3. Compassion, Divine Feminine, Compassion. Number 15, which reduces to a 6. So we have a 3 and a 6. We add that, that's a 9. Right on time. 9, right on time. So Capricorn, you might be feeling someone is right on time. Something is happening right on time. This is giving me, aka is coming to mind right now. But anyway, Capricorn, Divine Feminine. You know, we have masculine energy. We have feminine energy. So the Divine Feminine energy is flow. It's yin. It's ease it's soft it's lovely it's light okay so capricorn we know you love to work hard this is more of a capricorn card right here with the colors you know and with compassion it says the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow the flow uh, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. So having, you know, compassion, understanding for the next homeless person because you are one missed payment away from being homeless or having compassion for someone that is, you know, in a sad and down position because you were once in that sad and down position, okay? Capricorn, it may be specifically a woman around you, a woman in your world, like um, your mother, sister, grandmother, aunt, um, a female guardian that you have high regard for because it is saying divine feminine. So I feel like this is a feminine energy that you respect or it could be your own divine feminine energy. Just being reminded that you need to have compassion for the softness in you, especially if you're a Capricorn that just burns themselves out with work or maybe you work so much you don't even realize that you burn yourself out or you work so much you don't even have time for female friends you have no time for female companionship you have no time for you know sensitivities of the people that's around you because you're so focused on the bag and work and status and power and control and money like you're just focused on other things instead of the things that matter, right? The softness, the love around you. So Capricorn, I feel like this is a reminder for you to have a little more compassion for the women around you or the feminine energy within you, regardless of gender, the feminine energy within you. Give it, like, for example, you know, you're working, working, and you're tired, but you refuse to take a nap because it's considered lazy. No, have some compassion for your divine feminine energy. You could take a nap. Take a nap. You know, even though it may feel like you're doing nothing, sometimes when you wake up for that nap, you're not even thinking about that thing you were stressed about. You kind of forgot about it. You're more energized to do something else to pivot your energy. So Capricorn, I really feel like this is a time for you to have more compassion for the feminine energies around you as well as the feminine energy that's within you, okay? Oh, that's such a beautiful one. All right, um, three, six, nine. Also, Capricorn... I want you to listen to the 369 hertz frequency. 
because we have the three, we have the six, it adds up to the nine. So I feel like three, six, nine. Also, maybe listen to Yin Yang Twins. To the window, to the wall. Get low. Okay. You may want to listen to Get Low by the Yin Yang Twins, Capricorn, as well. Aquarius. Hello, Aquario. Aquario is what I like to call y'all. Integration. This card has been peaking the whole time. It was like the bottom of the deck for a lot of cards. Aquarius, you have integration. This looks like an Aquarius card. Look how, like, different it looks from all the others. All these triangles, right? All this yellow and then all this darkness around it. So, Aquarius, I feel like this is... Excuse me, pardon me. What you do anyway? Like, y'all are the energy, the sign of integration. Humanitarian, you know, looking out... For your fellow man, looking out for the people, fight the power, all of that, right? Rebellion. The root revolution will not be televised, all of that. So Aquarius, integration. Let's see what the message says. It's a card number 30, which reduces to a number three, the number of creation. Integration is this. Bring it something like, so Aquarius, it may be a blended family. People coming together, uniting, joining together like this. This was coming to mind for me for Aquarius. So the inter the message is the frequency of integration supports our um, uh, supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. Okay, let me read that again because again it's like what L alarms going off, sirens outside. Integration, the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves so acceptance allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize and to balance definitely in life so i feel like aquarius this is a time for you of like doing shadow work all this darkness around and realizing this just is who i am and just finding acceptance and by accepting yourself there's a sense of power and power that makes you want to be dynamic and fun and changey and all that stuff so Aquarius I feel like this is a time where you are maybe going through your dark night of the soul maybe your Saturn return I want to say Saturn is in Taurus right now and this is a time for you to integrate the parts of you that you don't like the parts of you that you do like and just finding power in accepting who you are accepting your cringe accepting your parts of you accepting the parts of you you can't stand and just owning it because there's so much power when you just own it you know instead of trying to like fight it off or like you know get rid of it just own it there's so much power there and i feel like aquarius is the sooner you own the cringe the lighter you will feel pisces last but not least pisces 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 Pisces. One card for Pisces, please. One card for Pisces. One card for Pisces. Miracle. Oh. Oh. My C's. You have Miracle. It's card number 33, which reduces to a number six. Excuse me. Pardon me. Miracle. Exactly what it sounds like. Pisces, I feel like this is you to be reminded that miracles do happen. They can happen for you, but you also need to call the miracles in. Speaking of the miracles, visualizing the miracles, putting yourself in positions where it will be a miraculous blessing for you, okay? The message, Pisces, the frequency of miracles supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. Truly, like, believing, seeing is believing, right? So the whole seeing is believing, you got to visualize, you got to put into your mind what you want for yourself, okay, so that it can come to you. Speaking it out loud, writing it down in your journal when you're scripting, when you're scribing, really connecting yourself with the magic and miracles, okay, that's possible for you. So... Um, what would a miraculous outcome look like for you? What would a miraculous um, turn of events feel like for you? What does that look like? So Pisces, this is your reminder, your message that to uh, to 
get back in that sense of wonder and excitement for you and your life, your path. It's just that miracles are possible. Like, even if it seems impossible, give yourself a chance. Don't quit on yourself before you even start, right? Pray, meditate, hydrate, fast. All of those things I would do and recommend in trying to call in and usher in the miracles, okay? So, that's the second half of this video. If you want to watch Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, watch part one. This is part two. So, we just went over Libra, Empowerment, card 26. Libra, speak your truth, live your truth, and do the thing scared because that's where the guts and that's where the sense of empowerment is going to come in for you by you doing it scared. Scorpio, you are powerful. Transmute the energy, okay? Um, transmute the energy for goodness. No root work, no dark magic, none of that. Um, do the, the Transmute the energy because you are the alchemist. You have a sense of alchemy. You have the power, but just utilize it for your strength and encouragement, okay? Sagittarius, change is on the horizon. It may be around you. It may be within you. But nonetheless, it's on its way, okay? So speaking positive of the change, of uh, doing the spiritual work you need to ground yourself to brace for the change, and brace for impact is coming, on, coming up for me right now. Uh, Capricorn, you have two cards, Compassion and Divine Feminine. The reminder to host, hold a little more compassion for your feminine energy, regardless of your gender, the feminine energy, the soft parts of you. Also, hold, hold a little space and a little more um, compassion for the women that's around you, okay? Uh, Aquarius, it's time to integrate and accept the dark parts of you, the light parts of you, and fuse them together for one beautiful person you are for one sense of a light see it looks like a person there for me but anyway you become more powerful when you embrace the cringe and pisces miracles are pop, uh, possible miracles are on its way 12:34 as i'm doing this recording but make sure you call it in believe it and what's gonna work against miracles is doubt fear worry stress when you feel yourself going down that road i want you to take a nap detach pivot do something else your mutable water pivot your energy keep yourself in a space and mindset that miracles do come true miracles do happen and they do happen for you okay so again if you want to watch signs aries through virgo watch part one thank you for tuning in to part two i have other content on my channel where i do um tarot readings i speak intuitively as an intuitive coach if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me you can check the messaging below drop down in the comments let me know if this message resonates and yes i would love to hear your input I, input i am growing this channel so if you're looking for a channel to grow with, I invite you to grow with me, please. Thank you for all the love and support. Please share this channel, this video. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, all the things. And again, happy birthday to the Aries. Happy Aries season. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.